Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. I'm your host, Batorius. This is part 13 of the infamous Milker Nation's Bertaria 10 hour documentary. Map. They need blueprints. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I want in on Bertaria, so I'm committing to the cause, and the other check is for you. Do I keep missing checks? Um, P.S. I live in Connecticut and it's a S.H.I.T. hole. I need this gravy. I work in Coeur as a wildlife firefighter. Yes. For the USFS and will who will be more than willing to help with any. One of the things that I want to point out. Watch how happy. Notice how happy he is that he is receiving money right now. It goes to the point of where what his foundation is based on. And whenever I say foundation, obviously you need to be sustained. You have to be sustained with some form of income. Yes, money is appropriate. It's okay to have an appreciation for money. But whenever you put your faith, and I would even go so far as uh, spiritual faith in money the way he does, that's one of the reasons why you see him spiral the way he does. Cross clearing or manual labor needed once you acquire Bertaria. Hey, love, I promise I'm not being bossy, but can I get some more water? I'm just really trying to stay hydrated. Thanks. My whole family believed Jesus died for our sins, and we would like to contribute to Bertaria. So in closing, I offer up my hammer, my brush, my ladle, and my sword. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. May God bless you and your family. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The original banjo bearer. Uh, 400 over the bear trail, 50 bucks for you. Oh, man, that was wicked generous. Uh, the original Banjo Bear. And anybody that has a bear name that did give, and if you're comfortable, I would love to hear your comments uh, down in the comments section. I'd love to read them. Your experiences, if you got your money back, if you wanted your money back. any Anything from this time period would be super awesome on any of these videos. I'm actually glad I set a number. A lot of people are hitting the number. That was a smart move by the big bear. When I heard the news that you needed help to buy a large kingdom uh, so as you can do your comedy and others can learn about God, life, liberty, and freedom, I was filled with excitement and maybe purpose to fulfill in Idaho. I would like to be a part of Bataria. I have a pop-up commuter, computer camper and would be happy to volunteer for whatever grunt work a retired landscaper conveyor and outdoorsman might be qualified for if you need more funds um to jumpstart the trail to see the word your vision gives me hope for the future um just get whatever you want i'm not i think we're crushing i hope we play baseball games at bare tires so i can justify tj surgery i don't know what tj sir oh tommy john surgery in regard to Bertaria, I'm in. I could find some spare gravel for such a worth, worthy project. I'd expect nothing in return. I trust you to do right by everyone involved, regardless of how much I personally benefit. How did that age? I trust you to do right by everyone involved. And surely there's some people that really did give and, and expected nothing, probably. But whenever somebody is making promises, if you give money, this is what you'll get. That's where the problem comes in. That's where the the lies, deceit, and the crime, uh, allegedly, right? And from North Idaho, uh, redoubt, it's worth being involved in something that would help other bears as much as this could. I can't speak for others, but I suspect you will find this sentiment common. You give us so much. Now we have a chance to give to both you and each other in an unbelievably productive and efficient way. I pray our new collective dream becomes reality. We must keep going, keep trying, keep struggling, and never give up. Arky Bear. That's exactly it. Amen, dude. I already did like a really intense felt like uh, yelling a, like a little while ago, and now I realize it wasn't necessary at all. Like everybody stepped up. And Baritaria will happen because I he's so happy in this moment and i get it he feels he feels like he's successful right now and i don't know that's the thing i don't know if in his head i mean he he has to know he has to know there's no way that he doesn't know there's no way he does know and so 
That's strange whenever you consider what he's done to get this far. This is money that he's got from the first uh, live stream that he did about Bertaria. And so this is ill-gotten gains right here. I'm not sending all the money back and I'll feel too guilt ridden. You know, like a little while ago. And now I realize it wasn't necessary at all. Like everybody stepped up. And Bertaria will happen because I'm not sending all the money back and I'll feel too guilt ridden. Bertoria will happen because I'm not sending all the money back and I'll feel too guilt ridden. That's where self reflection is very important and, re and repentance and uh, apologizing and trying to make things right come into play. That's one of the reasons why he's in the position that he's in right now. Because although he does pretend that things are going well, and that numbers are up and he he's he is acting like he's getting all these letters and whatever. I don't think it's going well for him at all. I don't. It might be um, bare minimum for him to be able to do what he does, but I don't think it's prosperous. I don't. You know, like a little while ago, and now I realize it wasn't necessary at all. Like everybody stepped up. And Bertaria will happen because I'm not sending all the money back and I'll feel too guilt ridden. <laughs> we will build Bertaria. The uh, Bertaria Festival. I'm pretty sure that that is the bears, the higher up bears, um, saving face, putting something together in order to not feel foolish for the ill gotten gains and the manipulation of their fearless leader. Uh, cult leader Owen Benjamin that's my opinion I could very well be wrong but that's just my opinion and we will build a communal garden see if everybody does it properly we can potentially like do an unincorporated town and people are actually making the jump to invest in an American future you can do a lot with what I'm receiving right now. It's such a beautiful dream. And I think the dream alone is energizing people. Guys, this is going to work. Fact. I can feel it. Their tire is coming and it's, it is energizing me. Trust. Just That's a bizarre thing. If somebody's talking like that and they say something that is. It, just to say that. This is happening. Fact. Like That's a persuasive. Manipulative tactic. That. Um, that should be a red flag for people. If it hasn't, if it wasn't, then it should be now. Trust me, okay? Just trust me. By the way, overall, the value of Bertaria is going to far exceed your expectations. Oh, and another thing. If someone's camping there, don't expect Bertaria is coming. And it's, and it's energizing me. Trust, just trust me, okay? Just trust me. By the way, overall, the value of Bertaria is going to far exceed your expectations. Oh, and it's going to far exceed your expect. Is there anybody out there who he has genuinely exceeded their expectations? If so, I would love to hear it down in the comments section. If Owen Benjamin has legitimately uh, <laughs> See people. Guys, this is going to work. Fact. I can feel it. Their tire is coming and it's, and it's energizing me. Trust, just trust me, okay? Just trust me. By the way, overall, the value of their tire is going to far exceed your expectations. Oh, and another thing. If so far exceed your expectations. If he has exceeded your expectations, seriously, if he has, I would love to hear it. I want to hear that. I want to hear the other side. If there is another side. I don't think there is. The people that are close to him right now, they have skin in the game. Uh... Coddington Bear, um, what's his, I, I don't want to, yeah, Coddington Bear and people like that and the people that were involved in the uh, Bertaria, uh, building Bertaria documentary, all of those people, they have skin in the game. They're not casual onlookers. They're not casual bears. They are legit participating cult members. And so those people, um, I would like to hear their side of the story, sure, but... I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they're actively participating in a dangerous cult. So 
there's that too. I was camping there. Don't expect that you can always hang with me. That's to get, that's obvious though. I can tell people aren't aren't. That's not what it's about. Well, let's say you go on a camping trip with your family. It's like, well, I mean, I gotta you know hang with you all the time. Like that wouldn't. That's not possible. Like because I don't know what I'm doing. But I I love friends. Oh, another thing. Reason why this is uh. Why was that so unbelievably awkward? I like friends. <laughs> no, you're bear names, dude. Y'all are bears. Y'all have bear names for a reason. It's so, uh, I've said this before. Whenever somebody kidnaps somebody and the police let the, uh, the parents talk to the media, they use the name, the actual name of the person. They, re they use it as much as possible to humanize the victim. And he wants y'all to be dehumanized. That's why y'all have bear names. If you don't believe me, go check out Milker Nation's other videos on, on how Owen talks to his cult members. And he literally says, I don't even know your name. <laughs> While using the bear name. That is, uh, that, that, I mean, it is. Energizing everybody? It's because you realize you're not alone. Guys, when people want to call us like uh, white supremacists, losers, hillbillies, fight, the fact that, that we have this much strength, think about this. Think about how many people could like this. We're, we're a we have this much strength. He's referring to the money that he was given, that he's going to do hardly anything with for anybody else. I would like to know if he legitimately him personally, not the bears. If he has personally helped anybody throughout any of this, was there any time besides allowing them to uh, talk to the Bears about help them helping? I would like to know if he personally has ever helped anyone. Wrong uh, community. And I just realized this just uh, yesterday or the day before. He publicly admitted that he doesn't do charity, so I doubt it. He wants your charity, but he doesn't do charity. Fact. Fact. Uh, you, 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 sir, you, sir. It's like, dude, no, these are, these are like, this is a real community, guys. It's huge and strong and supportive. If you're like struggling with money, this isn't your thing. But that doesn't mean you're excluded from coming to Bertaria to camp or do whatever you want. People are dying to build something that isn't for selfish reasons. Just beautiful. They're aching for it. And I would like to see some receipts for how, because he, he made this comment, he's spending all of his money on Bertaria. I would like to see that. Prove that. That's, a, that's an active challenge towards Owen Benjamin. I would like to see actual factual documentation of Owen Benjamin using his own money towards uh, Bertaria. But then again, his own money is what? The bear's money. So I don't even know if that... <laughs> that's kind of like a two... That's <laughs> literally a two-sided coin. It's got their face on it and it's got his face on it. To the best of the people that are like, what am I going to buy, ranger panties? It's so true. Like the shit that, that people try and get you to buy versus their time oh you can teach a class you can teach beehiving if we ever have a event about teaching crafts and you can always camp there those are things i can follow through on like you want to know what i three years later and any of that right i don't know i don't think so though i think it'd be awesome one of those massive barns you know like those massive like huge barns you can do a lot with those there, there's plenty of bears in here that make a great living and all the sports are done and their church is closed and they can't drink. Those are the ones that are like, oh, I'll just give Bear Tari the money. And that will flip a switch where all that sin that would have just been nonsense will become something beautiful. Like when we're doing community garden stuff, like I, I would love to do a program where the, the thing is my family would be living there. So I can't do like, you know, dangerous people. But like I would love to do like vets or people down on their luck or somebody, somebody that could really be helped out working with animals and gardening and stuff to get back on their feet. Dude, some of the most valuable outposts on the Bear Trail would be near cities. Outskirts of Atlanta, outskirts of New York, outskirts of uh, 
California cities because th- that's where people are probably going to need food the most. Um, I think that's wonderful. But what it does is it's, it's going to be the next level of archetypal self-sufficiency and you will always have a place to camp. And it'll inspire you to do what we're doing wherever you are. That's the whole point. You want to know why this is inspiring a lot of people? It's because we had a dream as a community and we're just doing it unapologetic like the fact people are just sending in money to buy Bertaria is super powerful because you were all part of the whole process Bertaria is in your hearts you see beginning middle and the whole thing where it's just like let's do it and why know what this will do this will help you do this in your life you giving money to Owen will help you do it in your your life And these words worked. <laughs> the, these words persuaded people to give him money. Be on the out, be like, look out for people like this that manipulate. I understand giving money um, for things that you like, right? And I'm sure some people thoroughly enjoyed Owen and just wanted to support whatever he did anyway, just because I get that. But where it becomes different is the manipulation and deceit. Yeah. Cause that's the most important part is not my Idaho land that we all have access to with camping um, excursions, comedy shows, um, get away. All right, this is part 13 of the infamous Milker Nation Bertaria 10 hour documentary commentary. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Batorius. As always, till next time.